Today we will be installing the battery powered tilt toilet incline lift at this residence. The toilet we will be installing the tilt on has an elongated seat. The tools needed for this installation are a 5 8 inch wrench or socket, a 9 16 inch wrench or socket, a 3 mm hex key, locking pliers, mounting bracket hardware, a power drill, and a drill bit sized for your chosen mounting bracket hardware. Before installation, ensure there is sufficient space around the tilt for the proper operation. The tilt frame requires 6 inches on either side of the toilet bowl and 7.5 inches in front of the bowl. The battery and control box requires 5 inches by 16 inches of wall space for mounting and protrudes 3 inches out from the wall. Due to cord length, the battery and control box will need to be mounted within a 3 foot radius from the linear actuator, also known as the motor. Begin the installation by unscrewing the two bolts that secure the seat and lid to the toilet bowl. Once these bolts are unscrewed, removed, and set aside, take off the existing seat and lid from the toilet and set it out of the way. Now, bring in the tilt frame and set it in place on the toilet bowl. Align the two holes on the mounting plate with the existing two holes on the toilet bowl. The mounting plate front holes are for a standard toilet seat, and the back holes are for an elongated seat. Using the hardware provided, place one bolt and washer through each hole in the tilt frame and into the hole on the toilet bowl. Hold the top of the bolt in place. Attach the plastic tower nut to the bottom side of the bolt and finger tighten until snug. Repeat this process for the second hole. Using the 9 16 inch wrench, tighten each bolt on the top while simultaneously tightening the plastic tower nut completely by tightening the snap nut on the bottom using the 5 8 inch wrench. The snap nuts will snap off the plastic tower nuts once the proper tightening is reached. You can now prepare to position and mount the actuator. Grab the two handles and pull them forward until the tilt is fully raised and slightly overextended, allowing the tilt to stay in position while the actuator and actuator mount are being installed. The actuator mount will arrive configured for a left side mount, but is universal for both the left side and right side of the tilt. Left and right is determined with your back to the tank. Depending on space requirements or bathroom configuration, it may be necessary to change to a right side mount. If your installation does require right side mounting, convert the actuator and actuator mount from a left to right side mount. Release the actuator from the actuator mount by removing the bolt using the 9 16 inch wrench and locking pliers to secure the nut while backing out the bolt. Flip the actuator mount 180 degrees and then replace the actuator by aligning the oblong hole on the actuator mount between the slotted tabs on the actuator. Replace the nut and bolt and fasten securely using the 9 16 inch wrench and locking pliers to secure the nut while tightening the bolt. For a left side mount, red dots will be facing outward. For a right side mount, green dots will be facing outward. For this install, we will be performing a left side mount. Position the motor on the designated side of the tilt and place the actuator mount over the bolt. Using the red dots as a guide, push the actuator mount down and guide the actuator mount tab into the frame bracket until it rests completely inside the frame bracket. These dots will be green if right side mounting. Using the blue dots on the actuator bracket and actuator as guides, lower the seat to align the actuator slot with the actuator bracket. Ensure the actuator bracket rests inside the actuator slot. Once aligned, fully insert the pin into the actuator and through the actuator bracket. Now prepare to mount the battery and control box in the selected ideal location by securing the mounting bracket to the wall. First, remove the battery from the mounting bracket by squeezing the spring handle inward and pulling upward on the battery until it slides up and disengages from the mounting bracket. Set the battery aside then release the control box from the mounting bracket by removing the single screw using a 3mm hex key. 
Set the control box and screw aside and prepare to install the mounting bracket to a wall or other suitable structure within 3 feet of the actuator. Place the mounting bracket against the wall or other suitable structure and attach with appropriate hardware using all three hole locations. Once the mounting bracket is securely in place, slide the control box onto the mounting bracket ensuring that the slots on the back of the control box slide into the tabs on the mounting bracket. To secure the control box in place, tighten the single screw using a 3mm hex key. To provide power to the tilt, connect the actuator to the control box by inserting the jack into the hole next to the plug for the handheld control. It is important to note that prior to first battery use, the battery will need to be charged for 24 hours using the included battery charger. After this initial 24 hour charged, undamaged, functional batteries will fully charge in approximately 6 hours and will operate approximately 20 cycles. Charge the battery by plugging the charging cord into the battery, then the charger into a properly grounded GFCI protected outlet. The battery has a full charge when the charger LED indicator light turns green. Do not let batteries fully discharge before connecting them to the battery charger. To extend battery life, be sure to charge the battery whenever possible. To keep your tilt operational while the battery is charging, additional batteries are available. Once charged, reinstall the battery by sliding it onto the mounting bracket. The battery is in place when it rests on top of the control box and you hear the spring handle click into place. The handheld control arrives already plugged into the control box, so no further assembly is required. If you do need to unplug it at any point, then reconnect. Simply insert the plug on the handheld control by aligning its guide with the groove on the control box. In order to test cycle the tilt before use, raise and lower it three to four times without sitting on the seat. To raise the tilt, push and hold the up button to lower the tilt, push and hold the down button. For convenient storage and access, hang the handheld control onto the tilt handle nearest the battery and actuator. Make sure to route the cord in a manner that is convenient and non-hazardous to the user. Congratulations, you have successfully completed your battery powered tilt toilet incline lift installation. For cleaning instructions, you can follow a few simple steps. Using the handheld control, raise the tilt into its up position. Lift the toilet seat up and grab the front of the shield. Pull upward and then forward until the shield slides off the frame. Use a soft cloth with warm water and a mild soap to wipe the shield down. Refer to the instruction manual for further cleaning details. Once the shield has been cleaned, you can reinstall it by placing it forward, then downward in place on the frame. Using the handheld control, lower the tilt into its down position and it's ready to be used.